Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial and man I haven't heard myself say that in about a week and I do apologize guys I know some of my subscribers are getting a little upset because my channel is mainly based on Redstone However in the next update guys, we are getting slime blocks so you can expect an onslaught of tutorials once that update drops So enough rambling today's tutorial is on a seamless glass piston door now What seamless means is we can't see any redstone when the door is closed or when the door is opened up. So if I click this button right here, our glass piston door will open up. And as you can see, no redstone is visible whatsoever. And you can trade out any blocks you want. It doesn't have to be glowstone. And then when we walk into our base that has absolutely, well, nothing in it. I always say that. We click the button and our glass piston door closes up behind us. Now, I have done a similar door to this in the past. However, it was much more bulkier than this one. This one is an astounding only two wide at the top so you can fit this thing anywhere and it will look great now I know some of my subscribers are about to say FedEx I know a way more simpler design than this one and I know exactly about the design you're talking about it's actually the first redstone creation I ever built on Minecraft which got me into redstone and it is a simple glass piston sliding door so here it is right here so if you don't know how to build this one you can pause the video guys as you can see there is nothing to this one if we click these pressure blades our glass door opens up we can walk through and then when we go out the other way just opens up and you can walk through so you can pause the video right here guys there is nothing to this build so enough rambling about the doors let's go ahead and start building this thing all right guys so for this build you're going to need a 12 by 4 spacing and you're also going to have to dig down three now if you're wondering what that red stained clay is down there that is where your door is going to end up once you are done building everything so i'm just giving you an indication of exactly where the door is going to be now the resources you're going to need for this build are 15 sticky pistons, 2 regular pistons, 11 redstone repeaters, 1 redstone comparator, 7 redstone torches, 3 redstone blocks, 30 pieces of redstone, 2 buttons, 1 cauldron, 1 bucket of water, 4 glass, and 7 stone slabs. And then of course you're going to need blocks of choice just to fill in the rest. Once you have gathered your resources, come to the bottom left hand corner and count over 6 blocks. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and then count up one block and place a block right here and a block to the right hand side of it. Next, we're going to place two pieces of redstone on top of the blocks and put a torch to both sides of the redstone. Then above these torches, we're going to place two sticky pistons. They should extend up and then we're going to swing to the inside of our build. So this is going to be the front and this is going to be the inside of the build. We're going to place two more blocks here. One, two, place a piece of redstone down on the left hand side and a repeater going into this piece on two ticks delay then behind your two tick delay repeater we're going to come up with a block and then put a block to the right hand side with a piece of redstone dust on top of this one then we're going to come up a block once again next to this piece of redstone dust one up then put a repeater going this way on three ticks delay next swing back over here we're going to put a block down right next to this block and put a repeater going this way on three ticks delay put a block in front of it a block down with a piece of redstone dust on top of the block come two blocks up next to this piece of redstone dust like this so it should look something like that and then we're going to come down a block next to this sticky piston then put a repeater going this way on two ticks delay next up we're going to put our input really quick so we're going to come right back over here to this block come down one block and put a repeater going into the block on one tick delay put a block up behind it the red block will indicate our input block so any power going to this block will activate our door so put a piece of redstone dust on it for now and then put a block above it with a button this is just going to be so we could test it out while we're building it so we'll go ahead and put two blocks of choice on top of your sticky pistons these are going to be your walling blocks so you will be able to see them so when i click this button the piston should go down there should be a delay before the pistons extend back up so click the button and as you can see they retract take a little while to go back up and then extend back up let's do it one more time they'll go down take a little bit and then extend back up next up we're going to do the top layer of pistons so right next to this piece of redstone dust right across from the sticky piston we're going to place a regular piston facing upwards and then come up three blocks of choice you will be able to see these blocks so one two three blocks of choice and then on top of the third one place in a cauldron with water inside of it next up place a block of choice right next to your cauldron you can either go into sneak mode or you can just put a block here and then put a block up next to it and then coming out of this block from the cauldron we're going to put a comparator going this way and then we're going to put a block in front of our comparator make sure to delete that block because the block of choice is going to be going here and then from the front hand side of our door we're going to place in a redstone torch here a block above your redstone torch put a block of choice down right here and then put another block up like this with a piece of redstone dust on top of it 
Next, take out your Sticky Pistons once again and face a Sticky Piston down from this block. So place a Sticky Piston here and face it downwards. And then right next to this Redstone Torch, place another Sticky Piston facing downwards. They both should extend. Next, place two blocks of choice in front of those Sticky Pistons. And then we're going to swing back over here to this side. Put a block down right next to this Sticky Piston that is facing downwards. Put a repeater coming out of this block on three ticks delay. Put a block up in front of your three tick delay repeater. A block above your three tick delay repeater with two pieces of redstone dust on top of both those blocks. Next, we're going to place another block here. And then we're going to have to put a slab upside down next to this piece of redstone dust like this. And then put two more repeaters going this way, both set to four ticks delay. Then off of the slab, take out your piston and place another piston facing downwards, not sideways, downwards like that. And that should be our top pistons completely done. So if I click this button, it will open up the door and then it will close the blocks. Click the button, it will open up the door and it will close up. Next up, we're going to be doing the double pistons on the sides that will extend out the glass blocks when these pistons open up like so. So let's go ahead and start on this side because this one is more open. So right next to this sticky piston, face another sticky piston away from it with a redstone block in front of it. Then one block away from this redstone block, we're gonna place another block with redstone dust on top of it. So if I click this button, this piston will extend out, thus turning on that redstone dust right there. So click the button, it'll pop out, and it will turn on the redstone dust. Next, place a block next to your redstone, and then put another piece of redstone on top of this block. And then we're gonna put a slab upside down right here with more redstone on top of it. Then we're gonna put another slab upside down, so put a block right here with a slab upside down and then place in more redstone then right next to this redstone we're going to take out our sticky pistons and we're going to place in our double piston extenders facing towards these blocks so put a sticky piston right next to your redstone and then put another one so that's going to be our first double piston extension and then we're going to put another set of sticky pistons in right here that's going to be our second double piston extension then right off of this slab we're going to place in another block and put a repeater going this way on two ticks delay place a block in front of your two tick delay repeater with a redstone torch off the side. Then we're gonna come up another slab next to this piston upside down, and then put a block above the back piston with redstone dust on top of both of them. And that's going to be one whole side done. So now all we have to do is take out our glass blocks and place our glass blocks in front of our sticky pistons. So if I click this button, this should open up. This should extend out letting go of the glass blocks, closing our door. So click the button, it will extend out the glass blocks and close the door. And then when we click the button again, it will extend out and retract the glass blocks back behind the door. And now all we have to do is the same exact thing we did here on the other side. So swing back over here and just place a sticky piston off of this one facing towards you with a redstone block off of it. Then come one block away from your redstone block right here and place redstone dust on top of it. Next, we're going to place a block up from the redstone dust with another piece of redstone dust like this. Put a slab upside down with more redstone on top of it. And then off of this slab, we're going to place in our sticky piston. So one, two, one, two, just like that. And then off this side of this one, we're going to place in another block with another slab upside down and then put another slab upside down off the top sticky piston. Then we're going to place in two pieces of redstone, a block above this piston with more redstone on top of it. Next, take out your glass and place your glass in front of your sticky pistons. Now, if your glass is still in here, then just place your glass in here. However, mine is retracted back into the wall, so I'm going to place in my glass over here. Just make sure both sides look exactly the same. Next up, place a block to the side of this piston with a repeater coming out of it on two ticks delay. Put a block in front of it and then a redstone torch to the side. And that is your door completely done. So if I click this button, the door closes. And then when I click the button again, our glass piston door will open up and we cannot see any of the redstone. So now all that's left to do is our inputs and we will be completely done. So let's go ahead and break this block right here and place in our first button that's going to be on the inside of your build. So place a block right here and we're going to place a button off of this block. Then right underneath this block that has a button, we're going to place in a sticky piston facing towards this piece of redstone dust and place a block in front of it. And that's going to be the input on the inside of our door. So if I click this button, the door closes. And if I click the button again, the door opens up. Then we're going to come over to the outside of our build and place in a block right here with a button off of it like this. Then come right underneath this block with a slab. Do not use a normal block. You have to use a slab here and put your slab upside down. Next, come out another slab next to this piston and then put a block to the side of the slab. Then take out redstone dust and place in three redstone dust. Now, the reason why we had to use slabs there is just so these pistons don't get updated. So if I click this button right here, as you can see, the redstone is not activating those sticky pistons down there. Then right off the side of this block, we're going to place in a redstone torch. 
put a piece of redstone dust underneath the torch as you see it came on then put a repeater coming out from this redstone dust with a block in front of it and you know what i completely forgot about this so go ahead and delete this block right here with the redstone dust on top of it because we don't want this to get activated then put your torch off the side of this block and then let's go ahead and just put our input block back in so just place your input block right back above this redstone torch and put redstone dust back on top of it and that's going to be the outside button completely done so if i click this button the door opens so if i click this button the door closes and if I click the button again, the door opens up. And that is it, guys. You are completely done. So now all we have to do is just clean it up. So let's go ahead and place in our floor real quick like this. And then all we have to do is place in our blocks of choice on the ceiling so we can't see any of the redstone up here. Place our blocks of choice on the inside. And now all we have to do is just hide up our redstone. And then you are completely done. So if you don't want to watch me hide all the redstone, you can go ahead and leave the video now. But just make sure you don't cut off any of the redstone or else this thing will not work just like any other redstone build. So let's go ahead and just fill in this entire area. And I'm also going to fill in the front real quick as well so it looks nice. So we'll fill in some blocks here. Fill in some blocks right here as well. There we go. Perfect. There we go. And bring it right over. Hide all this redstone up because we don't want to see any of this ugly redstone. And then go ahead and fill in the rest. However, sometimes I like to put glass so people can see the redstone. I don't know if anyone else does that, but I'll sometimes put glass around the walls just so people can see what is going on. So if we click this button, the door will close. And then if we click the button again, the door will open up. Now, if you want to, you could change out whatever blocks you want. I tend to use glowstone right here so it just lights up the inside of the door. But you don't have to do this. You can do whatever kind of blocks you want. So there's our door completely done. Click the button. It closes. Click the button again. And it opens up. And there you guys have it. That is how you build a seamless glass piston door. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like. And subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.